Hi there, if you just joined us, uh, this is the second part of the unboxing of the Thekus N4100 Evo. Uh, I just concluded the unboxing video and, I, and I'm going to continue on opening up the case. So on the back there are uh, these four easy to use, uh, sorry, three um, easy to use screws and uh, it allows you to pop up, pop off the, um, the casing for this and look inside. So I've already gone ahead and done this. Now this is the first time I've done it, so um, we'll see how easy or difficult this might be. Okay, so I've gone ahead and taken the shell off of here. Now I have already removed the four drive bays from the unit. Now one thing to know is when you unscrew this, this becomes fairly shaky. Let's have a look at what we have on the side here. Just move that a little closer. So what we have here, uh, this is probably the um, uh, cadmium uh, uh, dual core processor. I believe that uh, I believe that this may be here the uh, the memory for the unit. The unit by default comes with 256 megs of memory, which, from what I can see here, is not upgradable. So that's one thing to note compared to something like the Netgear ReadyNAS, um, the ReadyNAS does allow you to upgrade the memory on there. Um, so what do we have here? So we have the CPU. I assume this again is the memory. We do have regular cables connecting in uh, the USB as well as uh, the, the, uh, the front panel. Aside from that, it's a fairly empty case. Obviously, the, um, the hard drives do have to come in through the front, and you do see the, um, the uh, connectors in the back there. This here is the front display with the, uh, the mirror finish on it. Here you have uh, the four buttons for the uh, options on the front. Uh, there is the USB on the, uh, on the front as well. So this actually concludes the the um, I would say uh, um, insides of the um, the Thekus N4100 Evo. If you have any questions or comments about this unit um, or about the video, please post them. I do appreciate uh, hearing your comments and reading your comments. And uh, please do rate and review. Uh, please comment. I appreciate all the comments that you guys have because it does give me an insight of you know what people are interested in. Because uh, I do constantly get new uh, new hardware, new gear that uh, I, I don't mind you know posting reviews or posting anything about. So uh, that concludes the video today. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please post them. I appreciate it. Thank you.